welcome to Latvia. The weather has turned a bit. Um, it's a bit wet, it's a bit squally, it's still not cold though, which is kind of good. And we are here at Rundale Palace, so I think it's the Versailles of Latvia. It does have beautiful gardens. Um, unfortunately with the weather it's not looking its best, but we're still going to go and explore it. So where did we spend our first night in Latvia? This is uh, the car park of Rundel Palace, very nice car park. Uh, we made the rookie mistake of not checking when it was open. We came in last night thinking we could leave first thing, but no, it's locked overnight. So, message, check the hours, otherwise you'll spend a couple of hours reaching around in the morning. to Riga, the capital city of Latvia. We nearly didn't come here actually because we were thinking we were a bit cityed out, but we're glad we have because it's another capital city that's not particularly big. It has a really good atmosphere to it. There seems to be lots of restaurants, um, bars, people just happily milling around. And we have found some really good buskers. Although we have noticed here with the buskers, um, you have to pay them first and then they start playing. Usually it's the other way around. A bit like a jukebox. A bit like a jukebox. Mm. So where are we now? So in Riga, this is the central market, but what's interesting is these buildings, these used to house zeppelins from World War One. Now it's a market, let's go and see what's inside. So Neil's just getting us some cherries. It is only two euros for a whole kilo of cherries. So good. There's a famous story about a black cat here in Riga. Um, somebody built a house, a very large house, facing the guild hall, and he had a bit of a bit of a pip against the, the guild because they wouldn't let him become a member. He had a cat with an arch back, and he wanted to have the back side of the cat facing the guild hall, but uh, he was told that that was not to be the case, and the black cat was turned around. So what's on the menu for today? Well, we're in the garlic pub and everything on the menu seems to have garlic in it. And we're starting with a beer. And the beer, I don't know if you can see it, it's 
got garlic in it. You can smell it. And you can taste it. It's garlic beer. Hey, Brittany, can you talk me through this? Right, so round two is a tapas plate where everything's got garlic in it. Garlic cheeses, garlic bread, garlic mink, garlic pickles. Um, looks really, really good to me. I think I might enjoy this better than the garlic beer. And can we have an update? Mm. Everything definitely has garlic in it, but everything is really good. Especially this chickeny stuff with garlic and the garlic bread. What about the garlic cloves themselves? Yeah, not too bad because they've been roasted. And the final course of our garlic uh, meal is ice cream. So, Renee, what have we got now? Oh, I'm quite nervous about this. Was it a good investment? Mm. It starts off sweet like ice cream and then you get a bit of garlic. Um, not sure what I think. I'll keep going though. What are you carrying around now? Our water container in the van has got a little leak, so we're trying to throw that out and we just replaced it. But it does mean I have to carry it through Riga the whole day. Riga's not quite as straightforward as it was in Vilnius. It took us, I think, two hours yesterday to drive two kilometres in the city, um, and it looks like leaving might be a little bit similar. So it's a wet day here in Latvia, but we're actually not that bothered. We've found a really good place to park, we've got heaps of food, <coughs> and the best thing is we have got free Wi-Fi, so that means we can spend the afternoon catching up on the blog, even listening to the radio. Yes, yes. A little treat here in uh, Latvia. The Baltic Sea is probably 50 metres that way. Looks a bit chilly. <laughs> Now behind you, I can see the motorhome, but what else can I see behind you? You can see the Baltic Sea. 